Before we get into recording and editing our own audio, I wanna show you a couple different ways to import audio into your song. So one way to do it is to simply just drag and drop audio from your finder window into Studio One. Now this is some keyboards that I pre-recorded and it matches up to the tempo of my song. You can hear this if you turn on the metronome and then press spacebar to play back the audio. If your audio doesn't match to your song tempo, one of two things will happen, depending on whether you chose the stretch files to song tempo option or not when you created your song. Fortunately, you can turn this on and off by going up to song, song setup, and then under the general tab, you can turn this on or off. When this is off, your imported audio will not conform to the song tempo, even if the imported audio has embedded tempo data in it. So for example, here's another bit of audio that doesn't match my current song tempo. When I play this back with the metronome, you can hear that it doesn't match up. To get around this, make sure that your grid snap is toggled on here. You can also toggle this by pressing N. Then make sure that your arrow tool is selected, hover over the right side of the region, or audio event as they're called in Studio One, and hold Option while you trim this. What this does is it engages the time warping or time bending capability, so you can stretch or compress the audio to conform it to the tempo of the song. So that's a workaround if you have audio that doesn't conform to tempo. Now if you selected the stretch files to song tempo option, this will automatically conform the audio to the song tempo as long as the audio has tempo data embedded in it. One thing I like to do when working on a new song is make sure to have some sort of a drum loop playing along while I make my initial recordings. Sometimes you may have the luxury of taking a demo track to the studio and having the drums recorded first and then overdubbing everything to that. But in this case, I'm actually gonna record guitar and bass first, then multi-track drums, then vocals. So the drum loop is more or less just a timing reference for me to play to while tracking guitar and bass. It's a bit better than trying to just play to a click alone. So to access Studio One's loop library, you're going to pull up the browser by clicking here or pressing F5. Then on the home screen, you'll select loops. Here's a drum loop that fits the style and groove of my song. Just click on it and press the play button to audition it. Loops will automatically conform to the tempo if you selected the stretch files to song tempo option. I'll just trim up this loop to an even four bars with the arrow tool. I can click on this loop and press D to duplicate the loop a few times to match up with the length of the keyboard audio. To set the playhead back to the beginning, just press period on the number pad, and if you don't have a number pad on your keyboard, you can just press comma. Let's give this a listen. Okay, so that's a good start, uh, but before I start recording, I wanna show you how to use the edit tools in the next few videos because we'll be using them pretty extensively as we make our recordings.